We are discussing the seventh problem in which you are instructed to prepare a double column cash book. The difference being, you are asked to prepare a double column cash book. The two columns he has instructed, one should be bank and the other should be discount. So you can say it's a modern business which banks all its money, that is it receives all its money through bank and deposits all the money into the bank, whatever may be the reason. Now, so we have the columns named on the debit side, one as bank and as usual discount allowed and the credit side we have again a bank column and discount received column as usual. Now the year being 2013 and the first transaction on November 1st. So 1st November we have balance. So we write two balance brought down, two balance brought down the amount being 6500. Now, the next transaction is on 3rd which states that received check from Raj 950, discount allowed 50. So we received a check. So you can say indirectly cash is coming in. So when cash comes in we have to record it in the debit side. Here cash means money uh, that comes into your bank account. So check means you will ultimately get the money through your bank or your bank balance will increase. So how much we are getting? 950. So I enter 950 in the bank column on the debit side and 50 rupees we will not be getting which is a loss. So nominal account applied, applying the rule we are debiting it. So who is the person from whom we are getting this check? His name is Raj. So record it in the particulars column. The date being third. Now, next it is 6th November sales, sales here means cash sales. So how we are going to get this money? Through our bank. So money will be deposited into our bank. So how much is the value? 1500. So on the debit side record 1500 in the bank column and in the particulars column two the reason is sales. Now the date is on 6th. Next the transaction is on 8th which is furniture purchased and paid by check. Purchase of furniture is purchase of asset. So therefore money goes out. So we record it on the credit side when money goes out and 1000 rupees in the amount column and the reason is furniture. So buy is constant on the credit side. So you write buy furniture. The date being 8th. The next transaction is on 10th withdrawn from bank for personal use. Withdrawn from bank for personal use meaning the money of your business which is there in the bank you are taking out and taking it to your home to use for your personal purposes not for your business purposes. So already discussed in the initial chapters whenever you use business money for personal work it becomes drawing that means owner is taking back the resources of the business for his domestic or personal use. So therefore cash goes out from the business as a result your bank balance has to come down. So since cash is going out from the business it's a payment so we record it on the credit side the amount being 400 and the reason owner is taking so when owner takes money we refer the owner with the word drawings. So the transaction is on 10th. Next on 13th there is purchases. Purchases here means purchase of goods for cash. As a result 700 has to be credited because cash will be paid by the bank. Hence payment by bank, cash is coming down. So 700 by reason is purchases. So by purchases and the amount is 13. Sorry, sorry not the amount, the date is 13th. Now next, on 17th you have a transaction paid to Vamsi by check 
in settlement of his account 500 paid to Vamsi che by check 450 in settlement of his account 500 the meaning is you have to pay 500 to Vamsi which you are giving 450 as a check that means 50 rupees you are gaining which is nothing but discount received previously you were giving discount received separately and the amount that is received or paid separately here you have to analyze you have to pay 500 out of which you are paying only 450 as a result you are gaining 50 which is called discount received and which we have to credit it so here how we are going to record this just see your how much it is you are paying so payment so 450 is the money that goes out from the bank so credit what goes out so 450 i am recording in the bank column i am gaining 50 rupees so 50 rupees in the discount received column and by to whom i am giving the, this amount to vamsi so vamsi's name in particular column and the date being 17th so 17th date now the next transaction is on 21st which is advertisement expenses which is advertisement expenses the amount is 800 so again money will be paid so on the payment side that is credit side the amount of advertisement expenses is 800 so enter the amount in amount column and write by advertisement so the transaction is on 21st now the next transaction is on 23rd sold goods to Raman, sold goods to Ramanas and received check. So you sold goods, so money is coming in. As a result, you have to record the amount on the debit side in the amount column, the amount being 1200. And it is sales, Ramana's name is not important here. So it is a cash sale, therefore we directly write the sales for which we are getting money and the amount is 1200 the date is 23rd next on 27th paid rent to landlord paid rent to landlord that means you gave a check to your landlord for rent so here landlord is not important you because there is a nominal account and payment is being done so the two accounts to get affected is rent and bank which ultimately gives the money so as a result enter the amount on the credit side 600 the reason is it is rent and the date being 27th now the last transaction is on 30 salaries paid uh, the amount is 700 so again on the credit side we enter the amount 700 the reason is salaries so by salaries the date is 30th so total both the sides and check which side is more to balance 